Brother Larry, can you share what God Almighty did in your life? Yes, in uh, April 11, I was diagnosed with uh, COVID-19. And I had got it from work, but I didn't know I had it. And so during that week, I got so weak, I couldn't hardly stand up. I had to balance myself against the wall. And so that Wednesday, I was on vacation. My wife said, I had a temperature of 103. She said, well, Saturday, we're going to go to urgent care. So I went to urgent care, and they swabbed me. And uh, Monday, they told me I had COVID-19. And I had to isolate myself in my room. I couldn't go nowhere. And so my wife, she bought my food and that. She had to leave. She couldn't stay and stuff. And it's, it's pretty hard when you got to isolate yourself. But I had pain. It, it was unbelievable. You know, it started with, excuse me, it started with my stomach first. You know, I, I got uh, ongoing health issues. And I know that wasn't it and stuff because it was still going and stuff. And so after that, uh, the church were praying for me. Pastor Gladden were praying for me and stuff. And I had to put it in God's hand. You know, I can't heal myself. You know, it takes God's hand to heal us. You know, we had to give it to him and stuff. And uh, after that, I was gone for three weeks. And I went back to work. I had to take two tests and went back to work and stuff. And I went back to work. I led one guy to Christ after I came off of COVID-19 and stuff. And I've been talking with him a long time. I finally got him. And after I led him to Christ, he said, man, it's warm. I said, that's the Holy Spirit, man. And so he didn't know because he was at me. And so God had been blessing me that way. You know, and I thank God that I can stand here and testify that God is good. You know, we take for granted of our life on a daily basis how good God is. We don't even realize how good he is. But he showed his mercy and grace upon me that day. And Pastor Glad, he told me to take uh, communion. I said, okay, I took communion. I do it every morning now. And uh, I seen him at the, that Saturday. We had the, the meeting out here and stuff. I said, I'm still taking communion. My grandkids said, why do you take it? The pastor told me to take it. He prayed for me. And the pastor prayed for you. He asked you to do something. Please do it. There's something to that. These are Nordic, really Nordic guys. They, they pray for you. They for your help and stuff. And I'm still taking it. And I'm not going to stop. He told me to keep taking this stuff. And it's been helping my body a lot. And I thank God for all of this. You know. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus.